hi guys you're welcome back again to my channel i am confidence your mommy vlogger am i a vlogger no your spiritual mentor and if today's your first time coming across my video you're highly welcome please relax and enjoy this video and for my returning subscribers may god bless each and every one of you wherever you're watching me from please guys if you're not following me on my youtube channel why not what are you waiting for if you're not following me on my facebook page what are you waiting for okay Try and follow me, Prophetess Confidence Ministry, here on YouTube and on Facebook. Same name, same channel. Mm -hmm. So in today's video, I want to tell us a lot of things. Why money doesn't stay, the reason why money doesn't stay in our hands. A lot of people are in this issue, in this table. A lot of men, a lot of women are in this table. Even kids, even uh, children are in this table already. They will have millions of naira. They will have they will have thousands of naira today and tomorrow. They cannot give account of what they use that particular money to do. It is happening, and we often call the name of our village people that they are after us why they are not after us you are not the one you are not the only one that have village people why don't all that village people haven't killed all of them is it only your own village that is worst listen there is no village that is not worst there is no village that is not bad let me put it this way but when you you always have that mindset that it is your village people that is killing you or it is your village people that is after your progress or it is your village people that doesn't want you to grow and meet up to your target that is when you will see yourself you will find yourself going down more okay some of us knew that we are owing our spiritual family but oh we just want to we just want to pretend that money doesn't stay in our hands listen there are some money that will not stay in your hands because you are careless i am going to be uh, i am not going to compromise words in order for you to like me i am just going to say it bluntly for you to know whether you will like me or you are not going to like me god will like me okay the universe will read. in fact i am universe first daughter so there is nothing you will tell me that i will listen to you so listen and learn that is what i want from you there are some people that will not hold money money will not last in their hand because they are careless they don't know how to save okay that uh, that that spirit of not saving is in them it is not caused by anybody it's not everybody that will be rich. It is, it is, it, 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 the moment we understand this thing, we will stop fighting. We will stop doing this thing in order to, to become the, the second dangote of the whole world. Yes, it's not everybody that is going to be rich. If richness is not in your destiny, if richness is not in your destiny, my dear sister, my dear brother, try as much as you can do any kind of types of arm willing that you want to do any type of okay that you want to do if it is not in your in your destiny you will not become rich and that is another story for another day okay now we are talking about why money we cannot we cannot hold money some of us okay number one it is our spiritual family more especially our recanator more especially our recanator that our chi when you are getting some of us don't remember to give back to our spirit which is our chi. we will start from our spiritual family which our recanator we start from her we start from him okay the moment you are getting for example you are doing a job whereby they are paying you like let's start from um hundred thousand naira here in nigeria or 200,000 naira or 300,000 naira removing how much are you going to remove how much is uh dog now okay let's assume dog is about uh 27 30,000 naira here now in nigeria okay removing 50,000 naira just to feed your recanator will knock you 
neither will he make you to go down whether we will, will he make you not to sleep well whether will he not make you will he make you to not to go to that abroad that you've been craving for or come back to nigeria that you've been longing to do it will not okay rather it will provide more opportunity for you to go higher for you to rise more higher okay another one that can another thing that can make us not to not to not to allow money to last in our hand is our water spiritual family those people if you toil with them they will pieces they will scatter you if you joke with them they will definitely scatter you <laughs> if you are close to me you will know that i'm just i'm so serious with my spiritual life except they did not say confidence do this thing even if i don't have a gamboro i'm telling you even if i don't have a gamboro I don't want to joke with them. Let them not even toil with me. Because I don't have that patience. Your spiritual water family, if you toil with them, I buy a television that only you cannot be able to watch. They will own that television that you cannot finish. Even in a month. They can make you, they can make those notes in your hand to disappear. This one, they will come and be stealing self from you. You will keep naira, you will keep dollars, you will keep euros, you will keep pounds there. But when you come out to collect what you just kept, what you just kept there, you will not see it. It will disappear. It happens. It happens. But some of us neglect all those things. Our spiritual water family can steal from us. And they can turn out to be that witch that whenever you go to consultation, you will hear that it is witchcraft. It is this. It is that. Your water spiritual family, when being neglected, can cause you a lot of pain that you cannot be able to explain. Water people is different though. From your, your spiritual uh, husband and your spiritual wife, it can also make money not to stay in your hand. There's some things that we don't understand. You see those ones where we say, settle your spiritual family, settle your spiritual husband, settle your spiritual wife. They will start telling you Holy Ghost fire. They will start cursing you that is doing consultation for them, bringing another curse on top of their head. There's something you don't know. Do not tell anybody that is doing your work. In fact, don't, don't even provoke them. It is easy to say I have forgiven, but it is hard to forget. I'm just telling you the truth. But that is not why we are here. Your spiritual husband is that man that signs progress in your life before it will come to reality. Your spiritual wife is that woman that will sign prosperity, good thing, good health. For you to be healthy, for you to be, for you to be alive is coming from those people. You see, those two, spiritual wife, spiritual husband, they can they can make your life enjoyable forever in this life. And they can make your life miserable for the entire of your life. For your whole entire life. They can make your life so miserable that you will hate everything you don't want to communicate with anybody if you do this one it will still pain you anybody will say good morning it will pain you why because you are just holding one night and now today you it is you don't even you can't give account of what happened they will pcc it what is the solution for those of us, because I believe a lot of people that is watching me know what I'm talking about. The question is, what is the solution? This is the solution. The solution is you doing the necessary thing. When you have, stop being stingy to your spiritual family. Feed them in as much as you can. The more you feed, you especially your reincarnator. Let me just stand my 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 ground on this reincarnator thing the more you feed your reincarnator the more blessing will come because that spirit you are feeding will not will not and he she can never or he can never allow you to go hungry or allow you to lack those spirits you are feeding in order for them not to stop stealing from you in order for them not to make money to last in your hand they will stop all those unnecessary things 
that they are doing to you. They will make you to rise. They will connect you to people of... In fact, they will connect you to people that is going to rise you. People that is going to bless you. This spiritual journey is give and take. The more you give your spiritual family, the more you are going to take. No, these are no peace. If you neglect them, they will neglect you. If you turn your back at your spiritual family, they will definitely turn their back at you. And as they are turning their back at you, they are going to add more problems to it. Know that they are turning their back at you. Oh, you are going to feel like nothing happened since they have turned their back at me. No, no problem. They are going to add problem to that. And that is why when you start crying, okay, okay, we not listen to you. Okay, for we not listen to you. It will be as if everybody hates you. Why you are the one that seated on top of your glory and you eat, you cannot eat your cake and have it. Okay? Start making peace. If you want money to last in your hand, prepare yourself and go close to your spiritual family. Come back to your roots. Unite yourself with your spiritual family and they will bless you. They will bless you. Even if the rich, richness is not in your destiny, definitely he can have good in Kige Jay, Rijuako. Abaka Mumbone no wa vego ni akonange. You will see the one that you will use to feed yourself and that of your family. Yes. So let us know, we should stop. Uh, deceiving ourselves like oh confidence i just uh, they just paid me uh, uh, if i change it in naira is 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 millions but i didn't i didn't know what I, I used it for my sister sit up do the needful those things they did for you those payments you just collected why can't you use ordinary money fifty thousand twenty thousand five thousand use it and feed your spirit so that they will they will open more ways for you ishimba you will eat alone. Since you eat alone, eat alone dies alone. So carry your cross. Okay? So thank you so much if you have watched this video up to this point. I still remain Prophetess Confidence from Prophetess Confidence Ministry. And I will see you guys in my next video. May God bless you, provide, protect for you, and Merry Christmas in advance. Bye. See you.